Italy is a pioneer. Wondering why? Because nobody can deny that we are the first Egyptian team in history to win a match in Democratic Congo. It's Yumna Atwa and you are watching Al Ahli Online TV English News, getting you the top weekly news of the club of the century. So let's start with the headlines. Al Ahli secure a crucial win in Kinshasa. Musimani, we have an amazing generation of players. Ishinawi, defeating AS Vida Club is the first step towards the 10th African title. Said Abdul Hafiz, football fears in Africa must be modified. Al Ahli's international players join the national team. Al Ahli handball ladies are the Egyptian Cup champions. Al Ahli achieved a crucial 3 0 victory over AS Vira Club of Democratic Republic of Congo on Tuesday in match day 4 of the CAF Champions League group stage. The Red Eagles took a huge step towards securing a spot in the quarter finals after achieving an important win at the Stade de Martyr in Kinshasa. Mohamed Sharif and Mohamed Magdi Afsha gave the Red Eagles an early lead with two goals in the 6th minute and in the 19th minute respectively, while Tahir Mohamed Tahir secured the third goal after scoring from inside the box 12 minutes before the final whistle. Al Ahli are now second in the group with 7 points, 3 points behind the group leader Simba. AS Vida Club are third with 4 points, while Il Marikh remain at the bottom of the table with one point. Al Ali had a perfect game against the Congolese side, with our players dominating the match from the start by putting on impressive attacking and defensive display. During his post-match press conference, Musiman expressed his happiness after the victory and revealed his thoughts on the match, saying that he was sure that they will win the game, pointing out that Al Ali have many talented players who are capable of overcoming any difficulties. He continued saying that they have an amazing generation of players who won the triple last season and achieved the FIFA Club World Cup bronze medal. He continued saying that football always gives us beautiful lessons as they had a lot of clear chances in Cairo but had to draw, while in Democratic Congo they had fewer chances but won 3 to 0, though facing difficult circumstances as the hot weather, high humidity, and on an artificial turf. However, Al Ahli never searched for excuses and they always play to win. Ishinawi expressed his gratefulness after the victory, saying, the victory over Vida Club is the first step in the journey to win the 10th African title. We still have two difficult games against El Marik in Sudan and Simba at home, and we will fight to win them and secure a spot in the quarterfinals. We celebrated after the match, but now our attention turns into the upcoming challenges. We aim to win more titles in future to please our fans who always support us. Said Abdel Hafiz commented on the game saying that football fields in Africa must be modified, especially in the CAF Champions League, which is the elite competition in Africa. However, the players dealt with the pitch in the best possible way. Besides, the weather helped us to be at our best levels, unlike the previous games when we played in a very hot weather. And he assured that the team will not be affected by any absence as Al Ahlis always seek to win, as they miss several players such as Ali Malul, Muhammad Wahid, Walid Suleiman, Salah Mohsin, Akram Tawfiq, Nasser Maher, and Rami Rabia. However, the team's spirit and performance will not be affected and they manage to win the game. Aliu Diang will travel to Mali in order to participate with the Malian national team in the qualifiers of the Africa Cup of Nations, while the defender Badr Banoum will travel to Morocco in order to participate with the Moroccan national team in the qualifiers of the Africa Cup of Nations, as well as the Congolese striker Walter Boalia remained in Democratic Congo following the end of our game, as he expected to participate with Democratic Congo in the qualifiers of the Africa Cup of Nations. The game gave the whole team a five-day rest from training, so Musimani and his assistants preferred to travel to South Africa 
Africa in order to spend some time with the families. Al Ahli's coaching staff allowed our attacking player Junyu Ajaye to travel as well to Nigeria in order to spend some time with his family during the five day rest that is giving to the team. Al Ahli is expected to come back to training on the 23rd of March in order to prepare for the upcoming period. Al Ahli women's handball team have been crowned champions of the Egyptian Cup after defeating Zamalek 27 to 20 in the final. 6th October Hall witnessed a strong performance from the Red Eagles as our ladies dominated the game since the beginning thanks to the solid defense and the quick counter attacks. On a similar note, Al Ahli president Captain Mahmoud Al Khatib and the club's board member Tariq Kandil and the sporting director Raouf Abdel Qadir attended the game to support the team. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News from Al Ahli Wiya Salam Stadium. I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.